This is extra example three in chapter three, weight volume relationships. In this example, we're going to look at how to derive the relationships between different ratios using the uh, phase diagram. Uh, there are two parts. For part one, we are, we are given the void ratio, moisture content, specific gravity, and we're looking for the moisture unit weight, gamma m. And we're going to use a phase diagram uh, to solve this problem. So let's put the weight and volume side on this phase diagram. And uh, for this particular example, it really doesn't matter if it's moist or saturated, because we only need the volume of the void. And then we also have the solid phase. So first, uh, since everything is given in terms of ratio, and we know void ratio as well, so it is convenient to assume the volume of solid Vs is 1. Then if you look at the definition of void ratio E, which is V sub void, that's the volume of the void over V sub S, you can calculate the volume of the void as E times Vs, and Vs is assumed to be 1, so the volume of the void is simply the porosity E. So basically we have all the volumes, the volume of the voids and the volume of solids we need. So that's the volume side. Next, uh, let's take a look at the weight side. To get the weight, uh, we'll start with first the specific gravity, Gs, which is given. And the definition of Gs is gamma s over gamma w. So that's unit weight solids over unit weight water. And unit weight solids is weight of solids over volume of solids. And from this expression, you can calculate the weight of solids as Gs times Vs times gamma water. And we assume the Vs is 1. So the weight of solids is simply Gs times gamma water. So that gives us the weight of solids. So that's Gs gamma water. So the last given quantity is the moisture content, which is weight of water over weight of solids. And from this definition, we can calculate weight of water as uh, moisture content times weight of solids. And weight of solids is Gs times gamma water. So you have basically the weight of water, um, that's W times Gs times gamma W. And so that's basically a complete phase diagram. And then to calculate the moisture unit weight, um, you just use the total weight, or divide that by total volume. And from the completed phase diagram, the total weight is weight of water plus weight of solids. That's uh, weight of solids is Gs gamma water. Divide that by total volume. And again, from this completed phase diagram, total volume is 1 plus E. So that gives you uh, the denominator total volume. And you can factor out uh, Gs gamma water. That gives you the final expression for moisture unit weight given void ratio, moisture content, and specific gravity. So that is part A, using phase diagram to derive these relationships between different ratios. Now let's look at part B. Again, we're going to use phase diagram to derive this uh, relationship. So this time we are given gamma m, w, and uh, gs. We're going to find void ratio E. Uh, just as in part A, let's put the weight and volume side on this phase diagram. And again, for this particular example, it really doesn't matter if it's moist or saturated sample. We only need the volume of the void. And then we also have the solid phase. So that's the phase diagram. And uh, since, again, everything is given in terms of ratios, uh, we're going to assume volume. For this part, it's actually more convenient to assume total volume is 1. And the reason is that for this problem, we're given moisture unit weight gamma m, which is total weight w over total volume v. And then if we assume total volume is 1, the total weight w becomes just gamma m. We can now put this total weight 
W on this phase diagram. So we have gamma M in this case is the same as total weight. And the next given quantity is moisture content, which is weight of water over weight of solid. And from this ratio, we can express weight of water as moisture weight times weight of solids. And the total weight W is Ws plus W water. And if you plug in the moisture content relationship we just derived, then we can write total weight as weight of solids times small w times weight of solids, which is the same as gamma m from this phase diagram. And from this, we can solve basically the solid weight in terms of moisture unit weight and unit weight of water. So we can put this gamma m over 1 plus w on this phase diagram. So we have the weight of solids. And once we know weight of solids, then the weight of water is moisture content times weight of solids. And just plug in the expression we just derived, we have this expression for weight of water. And we can put this relationship on the phase diagram as well. Now we have basically the weight side all figured out. The next thing we can do is to use the specific gravity definition, which is gamma s over gamma w. And gamma s is weight of solids over volume of solids. We can use this specific gravity definition to calculate volume of solids, Vs, using weight of solids and the specific gravity and unit weight of water. So we can put this V sub s expression uh, we plug in the weight of solids we derived in previous step into this uh, volume solids definition, we get an expression for volume solids. And, uh, we can then put this on our phase diagram. So we can put the, this expression for V sub s on the phase diagram. So if you want, you can also calculate the volume of water as well, since you now have the weight of water given. Remember, the unit weight of water, gamma w, is considered a constant. So if you know either side of water, you can calculate the other side. In, in this particular case, we know the weight of water. We can calculate the volume of water, Vw, as well. However, I'd like to point out that for this particular example, we don't actually need the volume of water. We only need to know the volume of the voids and divide that by the volume of the solids to get void ratio E. Since we know the total volume is 1 by our assumption, and we have the expression for volume of solids, the volume of voids is basically total volume minus volume of solids. And if you plug in the volume of solids expression we obtained, and uh, you get basically an expression for V sub V. Now with the volume of void V sub V and volume of solids V sub S both derived, we can then calculate or obtain that expression for void ratio E, which is V sub V over V sub S. An even easier approach to take is actually instead of, instead of deriving V sub V, you can just use total volume minus V sub S, plugging that into void ratio definition as shown on the uh, screen here. And just plug in V sub S expression. You will have basically the final expression for void ratio E expressed in terms of the moisture unit weight gamma M, moisture content W or omega, and then the specific gravity Gs.